Happy Monday, everybody. Coach Anderson here, and welcome in to our distance rate time example problem. Tonight, we have a free class on distance rate time word problems. So if you feel like you're blanking out on word problems and don't exactly know how to set a problem like this up, go ahead, pause the video, give it a try. If you don't feel like you are 100% confident with all types of distance rate time, then join tonight's class. That way, you can raise your score, get the job you want, and have a good day. So let's go ahead and get started here, my party people. First things first, as always, we're going to read the question. Not the entire problem start to finish. No. We're going to go ahead and start by going to the question sentence. So right over here, if the vehicles start 360 miles apart, ignore that part right here. Right when we start saying who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following, those are those question action words that we really want to pay attention to. So right there, my party people, how long will it take for them to meet? So what does that tell us? Well, if we look at the answer choices, all of those are time values, right? So yes, we are looking for a time value. We're looking for the time to meet. So we're going to go ahead and start by writing that down, blank hours, reminding ourselves that we want the answer in hours. And so remember, the first thing we want to do, read the question, because no one wants to feel like they're lost when they just started the problem out. So give yourself that opportunity nice and easy. Booyah, right there. And then we're going to go through the given information to see how is any of this that I'm going to be reading connected to these two things meeting, right? So we don't know where it's going yet, but we know what to do to try to get there. So a car and a truck are driving towards each other on a straight highway. The car is traveling at a speed of 65 miles per hour while the truck is moving at 55 miles per hour. And we know that they start 360 miles apart. So how long will it take for them to meet? So this may seem complicated, but this is actually going to be one of those really straightforward questions as long as you know what you're looking for. So let's go ahead and get this done here. Let me show you. So first things first, we're going to write down the information. We see that they start 360 miles apart. So I'll write that. So distance that they start off at is 360 miles. Sounds good. Next up, I'm going to start in the beginning of the problem here where it says they're on a straight line. They're driving towards each other. That's going to be very important. I'm going to actually come back and circle back to that because it's going to be very important. Because if you notice, we see that the car has a rate and the truck has a rate. So what are we supposed to do when we have two rates? What am I supposed to do? Well, it's all in the key words and phrases here, my party people. So check this out. If we have the car right over here driving toward the truck, when you think about this, my party people, what's going on? Are these vehicles traveling in the same direction or are they traveling in opposite directions? So again, if they're going apart or toward each other, that's opposite directions. If they're going in the same direction, that's different. That's a different mechanic for the problem. And here's what I mean. Think about it like this. If we're going away from each other, let's say I take one step this way and one step this way, that's two steps apart now, right? Because we're one this way, one this way, that's two apart. We added those distances and we'll add those rates. Think about if they're going in the same direction. If I go ahead and take two steps this way and then one step in the same direction, how far apart are we? Just one step, right? So we subtracted in that case if we're going in the same direction because we want to cancel out the, the basically the distance that we each cover together. We want the distance apart, and if we're going in the same direction, we're covering the same ground. So we have to take out that common ground. In this one, though, we're not doing this or this. We're doing this. This technically counts as opposite directions. Think about it. One's going that way, one's going that way. A little easier to see now, right? So that's what's happening in this problem here. We have the car, we have the truck. They are going in opposite directions. The distance covered by the car is not the same distance as the truck. So what we would do is we would say that they're coming toward each other at a combined rate of whatever 65 plus 55 is. Because again, they're coming toward each other. This distance here is not the same as this distance here. So we're not gonna subtract. We are adding together until boom, we hit 360 miles together. 
That's what's happening, everybody. And so in this case, we are going to add these rates, set up our distance rate time formula, and then get it done. So if that was interesting to you, if that made sense to you, I got two things for you. Number one, leave a comment. Let me know that this helps you out so we can keep making more videos like this. But number two, join tonight's free class. I got your back, my party people. Sign up, show up, and raise your score. And then once you're done signing up with the link in my bio or description, shoot me a text right over there. There's my phone number. Shoot me a text. It's a texting only line. And let me know that you're all signed up for tonight's free class and that you're excited. I'm always happy to see new students succeed. So go ahead, join on in. Let's go ahead and finish the solution here and have a good day. So we have the rate for the car being 65 miles per hour. And then we have the rate for the truck being 55 miles per hour. So the combined rate in this case, since they are moving at the same time, we have to combine those rates. Opposite directions means we add the rates. So 65, so the true rate here, 65 plus 55, is going to be 120 miles per hour. So now we have everything we need, my party people. We're good. Distance equals rate times time. So D equals R times T. We'll replace the information that we have. So we have 360 for the distance that they are starting apart. Their combined rate is going to be 120 miles per hour. And we're multiplying that by time. And that's what we're looking for. So here, the last step is going to be to divide both sides by that 120, and now we're good. Let's go ahead, cancel out on the right side, leaving us with the time that it'll take for these two vehicles to meet being three hours. And there we go, my math party people. The answer here is B. So as always, if this helped you out, everybody, go ahead and leave a comment. And if you need more ASVAB help, you know I got your back. I'm Coach Anderson. Join tonight's free class. Sign up, show up, let's ace the ASVAB, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks for watching my ASVAB party people, but do yourself a quick favor. If you like these videos, well then why not just join me for a free class once a week? Again, it's free for two hours so I can help you raise your confidence, get that score where you want it to be so you can enlist in the job you deserve. My party people, I'm Coach Anderson. Sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB.